So I could uh, watch it right here on the big screen, but it's a lot more interesting to watch it with your own eyeballs actually go up in the sky. So I'm going outside. So I've got my trusty Sony RX10 Mark IV. The sun is going down, which ought to make visibility a little better. And I got a tripod. And I got a good view off to the um, to the east. And that's where this thing goes up behind that big tallest tree over there, which is kind of a little bit in the way, but uh, it gets up pretty quick and gets up high. So there we are all set up. I hope I got my camera adjusted right. Um, by the way, this is a Falcon Heavy. This is three Falcon 9s strapped together. And up until the launch of the SLS a month or so ago, this was the most powerful operational rocket in the world. So we got about six minutes before launch and uh, some kind of bird, looks like a blue heron has showed up here on the, uh, the golf course pond. And he's fishing. As soon as he sees me, he's gonna be out of here. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I'm here for a rocket launch and I'm not leaving. And we did also hear those call outs that yep. propellant loading is now complete on Falcon Heavy. Okay, you got about a little under a minute and a half to go. So I, I've learned one thing, I gotta roll this camera and get it rolling before they go up because I'm always surprised by the lag. I'm like, oh, I forgot to roll, but this time I'm going early. So I'm rolling right now. This is the mission director, go for launch. Okay, there go for launch. And I expected to see it come up over the horizon any second because the internet broadcast is always like 30 seconds behind. Five, four, three, two, one, engine full power, and lift off. Off it goes. You should see it any second here. You can see it directly here. You'll see this. It's just about to go above. Oh, there it is. Got it. Yeah, there's an airplane up there. Or a reflection. I don't know what that is. This thing is nicely lit. Oh, wait a minute. I think I've seen the side boosters separate here. Oh, and there they go. Okay, there goes the boost back. They've lit up. You can see the main center core going off to the left. And the other boosters are flying up into the sky. Yeah, they're flying back toward Kennedy Space Center. I hope they don't miss and land here. these two guys. Tandem rockets flying together. And they're going to disappear in a second when the engine shut off and we'll probably lose track of them. Here's what the scene looks like. The two side boosters are still coming back. And you can see the contrail and all the smoke and stuff way up high. It's being lit up by the, the sun, because up there it's still sunny. Oh, here comes the light up. Here comes the uh, either the entry boost or the, that's not the landing, that's the entry boost. Oh, two of them. 
Okay. That was an entry. That's the entry uh, burn as they come back into the Earth's atmosphere. Well, I don't think I can see the landing burn because it's just a little bit too close to the horizon, but that was a pretty spectacular separation of uh, the side boosters and the, the central core booster. Narrated, of course, by the loud motorcycle driving in the background. Well, the side boosters have landed successfully. I got some good shots. I hope I had the focus right. That's it's always a worry. You can just sort of barely see what you're doing. So, thanks for being with us. Good night, everybody.